In today's Madden 21 quick tip, I want to be break down what I believe to be the best abilities that you can put on Dan Marino to make him an absolute beast for your offense, especially if you like to pass the ball at a really high level. My guy, uh, guys, my name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, I just want to thank you for stopping by, guys. We post four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you, designed to help you get better at this game. And um, I just encourage you to subscribe if that's something that interests you. We also have a Discord that you can join. Um, you can join that by clicking the link in the description. It's a great place to hang out and talk Madden and, and really just meet new people um, and potentially new people that can help you improve in this game all right i want to talk about dan marino today guys this is for my for my opinion right now this is the best quarterback in madden ultimate team i have tried michael vick i've tried lamar jackson and i've tried dan marino and i i must preface this with saying that i personally value being able to throw the ball anywhere I want to because I want to pass the ball 99% of the game. I don't really like to run. I will run, but I don't necessarily enjoy it. So um, if you want to have a scrambler, what I would recommend is if you have enough coins to put Lamar Jackson on your bench, you can put him as a backup or go ahead and run with Michael Vick. Just please, please, please put some, um, put some expectations on there that he's going to miss some throws for you. All right, so um, right now I've got Dan Marino here. You see, let's go over his uh, ratings real quick. He has 95 throw power, 89 short accuracy, 89 medium accuracy. I've got him powered up here to 91 deep accuracy, 93 throw under pressure. So he basically is right at that threshold to be able to get all of the accuracy boost that he needs. He's got that 95 throw power, which is awesome. And what I want to do real quick is I want to talk specifically about the abilities that I think you should put on him. So the first thing that I would put on him personally, obviously, is go deep or sprinter, right? You, you, we all know this by now. This is a really, really good. Uh, these are really, really good chemistries to have. But this is what I really want to focus in on. So what I've got on him is I've got bazooka, and honestly, I've messed around with high low dead eye as well. High low dead eye is okay. I just find that I get bazooka more, so that's why I'm going bazooka. This ability right here, I feel like people aren't talking about, at least for right now, I really, really like this ability. Um, I've kind of toyed between lofting Deadeye and inside Deadeye because if you think about what most of us run on in Madden, we're going to run post routes, corner routes, or, you know, you, or you're going to run some type of in-breaking patterns get open against man. And so if you have inside Deadeye on him, that could, I, I understand that. I would either put inside Deadeye or lofting Deadeye. They both only cost one AP. Um, identifier to me is not really that important because most people don't really blitz this year. Um, Homer, I honestly haven't tried this one out or clutch, um, but I just don't see them being that great. Indoor ballers, like you can't control that. Um, sideline Deadeye. The reason I like lofting Deadeye instead of sideline Deadeye is because um, most of the time, I'm going to be throwing like throwing those um, lob and touch throws over the top, and that's going to help with that deep accuracy, get the ball to them. But again, I can also understand if you want to put inside dead eye on him. I kind of go back and forth between these two, which one's the best. I would not recommend putting sideline dead eye on him because I feel like the sidelines this year are just too easy to stop. Most offenses in general are running middle in breaking patterns and that's why I go inside Deadeye. You could also put him red zone Deadeye. I don't think that necessarily matters. I did have long range Deadeye on him at one point, but I just find it doesn't necessarily, I mean, it just doesn't, um, most of your throws are actually in the middle of the field in, in middle medium accuracy. Um, tight out, really don't use that in second wind. I don't recommend that unless you're running with your quarterback. Next ability that I want to talk about. This one, I have tried a lot of different abilities on Dan Marino. I do like quick draw. The one issue I have with quick draw is I feel like it's not, yes, it only costs one ability point, 
But I feel like even though you can get the ball out quicker, I still was having a lot of issues with throwing out of the sack and all of those things. So personally, I went with set feet lead in this slot. Uh, I think set feet lead is perfect for Dan Marino because you have to understand he's not really going to be running out of the pocket a lot. He's really not fast. He has like 59 speed, I believe. Um, some people like conductor on him. I hate conductor personally. Um, I just feel like it's not really that important. Um, but anyway... You know, I don't like conductor. Slide of hand's not really that good. None of these really, other than if you wanted to put outside dead eye on him and inside dead eye on him, then he would get perfect throw accuracy. But the only problem with that is the ability that I'm going to talk about next, which I believe is the most important ability for Dan Marino. I, well, set feet lead is probably the most important ability, but this next one's a close second. And that is the fearless ability. Immune to defensive pressure while in the pocket. Dan Marino is a pocket passer that's what you want to be doing with this card you want to be stepping up into the pocket and delivering strikes consistently and what i have found is fearless helps a lot with um some of the different uh pressure and accuracy that you're going to get you're basically not going to have that with this ability now what you could do if you wanted to if you wanted to go all out dan marino and all out um you could put pocket dead eye on him right here He's going to get perfect accuracy from any throw inside the pocket. But again, the issue that I feel like you're going to run into is you're not going to be able to beat like those shed D's are going to come in and you're going to have pressure and accuracy and you're going to be frustrated. My thing with Dan Marino, and this is just my, the reason I like him personally. I play with Dan Marino because I truly do not want an inaccurate throw. And I find, just for my money this year, I get a lot of inaccurate throws when the play breaks down. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but when the play breaks down and you start playmaking people, I have noticed that you get a lot of inaccurate throws. And so to me, fearless can help with this. Pocket dead eye can also help with this, but I'm going fearless for now. Um, if you wanted to, you could put, um, you know, if you could get pocket dead eye right here, that's where I would put it. But unfortunately, you can't. So it's either inside dead eye or lofting dead eye for me. And you can leave that up to your choice. But these two abilities right here, I really think are very important. I think fearless makes a bigger difference than quick draw. Um, but once he gets gunslinger, I'm definitely going to be putting gunslinger on him probably or quick draw. But um, this is this is my favorite quarterback in the game right now. I've tried every single quarterback and he's performed the best for me. And for my offense, which my offense is 99% passing. I pass the ball the majority of the game uh, out of the air raid, you know, run a lot of uh, route combos and things like that from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And if you guys want to check that offense out, you can check it out in the link in the description. There's a link that you can pick up my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. It's a comprehensive ebook encompassing the Arizona Cardinals offensive scheme. And I also have it paired with my four, six defensive scheme. You get both ebooks for the price of one in the description right now. It's on sale. So if you want it, if you want to check that out, it's a really, really good offense. And Dan Marino for my money runs it the best. And the guy that I would say, if you want a budget quarterback, I would use Lamar Jackson up until the time you can use Dan Marino. But Anyways, guys, wanted to put a video out talking about Dan Marino's my favorite quarterback right now in the game. These are some of the abilities that I like. What are some of the abilities that you like on your quarterbacks this year? Any secret ones? You could put gift wrapped on him, and gift wrapped is very effective, but I just feel like the um, set feet lead is just so important. Uh, I think set feet lead or pass lead elite, either one of those two are very, very important abilities in this year's game. So anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video, guys. Just a reminder, we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to come see them play live, just come to the live stream uh, tonight at 10 o'clock right here on YouTube. Uh, if you click the little bell notification thing, it'll let you know whenever we go live. We've got some more videos coming for you today. But until those videos go live, why don't you check out one of the videos on your screen here, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream.